What does the U.S. government know about UFOs? The Pentagon is releasing a report on that very question later this month. And suddenly, everyone from senators to scientists to presidents to journalists are talking seriously about a topic once thought to be more science fiction than actual science. NBCNews.com senior politics reporter Alex Seitz-Wald joins me now. And Alex, you've been reporting on the excitement around this upcoming Pentagon report where everybody from scientists to people who you might typically think of as conspiracy theorists are celebrating the lift of what's called the truth embargo. About a third of Americans think we've been visited by alien spacecraft, according to a recent Gallup poll. So what are some of the people you spoke to expecting from this Pentagon report? Yeah, Garrett. Well, first of all, what's not expected in this report is, spoiler alert, aliens. Uh, the, the U.S. government is not going to come out and say <laughs> we've uh, had contact with aliens. I'm very sorry. Uh, but what we're kind of expecting is basically a document dump from across the government of files that they've collected over about two decades from something like 120 different sightings of what is accurately described as unexplained aerial phenomenon. So these could be weather patterns, these could be camera optical effects, these could be potentially a spy craft by foreign governments like Russia or China that, you know, some new advanced technology that we don't know about, uh, or potentially it could be aliens even. But basically what everyone is excited about that I was really struck by from the, the believers who, you know, think the aliens are here to the hardcore skeptics who spend their whole time debunking that stuff is they think it's good that we're finally having this conversation conversation in the open, and we can try to understand these unexplained uh, phenomenon, because so far this has just been not taken seriously. It's been totally ridiculed, even though we have people like Navy pilots, former CIA directors coming forward and saying, yeah, there are things that we don't really understand. I had a very serious conversation with Marco Rubio about this in a Senate hallway not that long ago. Um, you spoke to some scientists for this story, too, who noted that some of our biggest scientific discoveries come from investigating things that were weird or misunderstood. I think the idea is that even if we don't get firm answers from the Pentagon, we can learn something by, by looking and by asking questions about all this, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. That basically, you know, science is a process of discovery and to just foreclose an entire area of investigation and say there's no purpose in looking into that. That's not, you know, how we learn anything. And uh, yeah, you can go through the history of science and find all kinds of examples of this. Like, you know, scientists didn't think meteorites actually came from space until the early 1800s or uh, naturalists coming back from Africa to, say, London in the you know 1700s would talk about these animals with 15 foot long necks and no one believed them. They were, they were giraffes, of course. Huh. So the idea is is, you know, if we have more cameras, more sensors, we have all this new technology, if we use this, we might discover some really rare weather phenomenon or some rare Earth-based phenomenon that we don't know anything about or some enemy, you know, spy craft that we don't know anything about. And it's probably good if there's things that we don't understand to understand what they are. Well, the truth is out there. It just may be mundane. Um, Alex, right. some of the people you spoke to are totally convinced that the government is covering up evidence of extra, extraterrestrial life. Can you talk about the consequences of people thinking there's a government cover up? And can a Pentagon report dispel the belief that this is a cover up if people are convinced the government's lying about this anyway? Uh, well, to answer your second question, no. I mean, this is people who believe this are going to continue to believe this. But I think it's a really great question and a great point because, you know, this is we're at a moment right now where conspiracy theories have gone totally mainstream, where distrust of the government is at an all time high. And uh, this is one place where, you know, th the government has actually legitimately covered stuff up in the past. Uh, in the, the, the 50s and 60s, at the, at the beginning of the Cold War, American civilians started seeing U.S. spy planes that they didn't recognize. And the government had an official policy where they would deny that people what they people saw. They would try to create uh, ridicule around this. That we, we this is you know proven through declassified documents. So there is there has been in the past at least an actual government cover up. It just wasn't covering up aliens. It was covering up secret American spy planes. So I, you know I think there's this uh, kind of feedback loop effect where the government keeps something secret. In that vacuum, people invent conspiracy theories, and then legitimate scholars stay away from it because it's dominated by kooks, and they kind of get run of the, the whole mill where, you know, now if we can talk about it openly, we can, the government can show what it has on its books, then maybe we can dispel some of the conspiracy theories and try to learn some new things about our world. This is fascinating stuff. NBC's Alex Seitzwald. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.